come from? And when I say, where do you come from? Mm -hmm. Which planet <laughs> do you come from? <laughs> planet Earth. Planet Earth. But you see, I, I was raised differently. Okay. Okay? Like I heard you saying, you know, raised an uh, overdose of morality, integrity, and all those good qualities that we seem to have shoved aside. Okay? So I always tell people that I come from a very warm place, a very loving place place. Uh, I dare say that I was a spoiled brat and uh, I, I grew up in love. I'd always seen my parents together. Even though I've been married a couple of times, this is my fourth and my last marriage, I said I, I, I like to be like my parents because they were really into f strong family values. You know, so I come from I come from a very warm beginning, and I think life is mostly about uh, nurture and nature. A lot depends on where you're coming from. I, I always say that some people run away from their background, some people run towards it. If there's something positive in where you're coming from, you know, you want to hang on to that. And my first marriage was not my doing, you know. I was busy knocking girls off, you know, everybody getting pregnant around me, you know. And my mother looked and said, no, 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 we're not going to have this. I was a stubborn kid, you know. <laughs> and then in her wisdom, she felt, you know, I'll get a girl, you get married, you know. And yes, this was at age... In her wisdom. Yeah, mm -hmm. this was at age uh, 20, 19, 20. And you okay. were already knocking girls up on the <laughs> Yes. We'll I talk about that, that I was later. A naughty, I was a naughty we, we will talk about <laughs> that later. <laughs> <laughs> then I married uh, for one wrong re reason. I wanted a green card, so I married somebody else. You know, That didn't work out. I walked out. And then the third marriage, that didn't work out either. You know, But that first marriage you know, that my mother arranged, yeah. You know, uh, because I've had two previous kids before that, that marriage. marriage, you know. You and need then, to say these things slowly so you don't confuse people <laughs> like me. Yes, I, just, yes. just an aside. <laughs> and uh, with the first marriage, I, I just had a baby. So by the time I was 20, I already had three kids. Are you really 70? Ah. Uh, Oh, the only person who would, really, would have really <laughs> testified asked, to that. Yes, it was my mother, but she's dead now. I think my father passed it on. Because even as a toddler, we always told, listen, you are no puta. When they ask, what does being does an no puta mean? What does it mean yeah. to be an oputa? They say, as an oputa, your word has to be your bond, blah, 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 blah. You need to walk with your head up. And I was taught to challenge Status what I'm ignorant about. Anything I don't know, I should ask questions. Okay, I didn't come from the kind of home where the kids are asked, oh yeah, go to your room because elders were there. Be we were encouraged, yes. We were encouraged to be among elders, even though we didn't have a clear understanding of but what the heck. how come it was you, Charles? Uh -huh. And well, not noticeably any of the others, who got these genes from, these rebellious genes from the old man. How come you? If you ask me, who I go ask? I wonder. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how come me. I can't answer that. <laughs> you know, but uh, my father was hard on me. Mm. You know, because in my home at the time, there was time to come to the table, yeah. there was time to pray, there was time to go to catechism. Mm. In fact, do you know that I had so much religion stuff down my throat Tell me about that it. I became an altar boy at the age of 14, thereabout. I became an altar, altar boy. At the age of 19 or 20, I went to the seminary. I stayed six months but at in that the time seminary. Was, at yes, that time, somewhere. 19 and 20, yeah. you were Anywhere. knocking... You are knocking uh -huh square uh -huh pegs. Uh -huh uh -huh the devil made seminar. me do it. 
<laughs> my children are like my bodies. I said that in the beginning. Mm. There is nothing. There is no crime. Not one single thing that I've done or yet to do that they know nothing about. Sometimes we make the mistake of thinking, okay, you know. my Peking, mm. we all know him. There's always the baby. Okay? Because they're not born you, you become parents. You, it's, you keep going to that school. And so we always think that we know the best for the child. And we must also understand that in raising our kids, after we give them the best education or give them the best advice, every other thing, 50% of the job, how they turn out, is in their own hands, not in the parents' hands. So parents should stop playing God.